We're just leaving Ludlow. It's been got on the road since quarter to nine. Just going through Lemster towards Hereford and spoke to my friend Ali in Bristol who said there'll be a sofa and some roast chicken. I managed to bat some Yorkshire puddings in there too. So I think that's about another 70 miles. I, I, I think I've done 10, 15 this morning. Might be another 65 miles. So it's just coming to 10 o'clock now. So I'd imagine the thought of a roast dinner is gonna put a bit of a spring in my step and get me pedaling all the more quickly to Bristol. <laughs> so I'm having a quick rest just outside Hereford. Just rub some glucose, some gel into my knees because there's a bit of a climb back there and it made me a bit sore. But after speaking to quite a lot of people at the last place I stayed, everyone was really interested and wanted to know where I'd been and the highlights of the trip so far. But what I find is, people will ask where you're going and what's on and, and why. Some people say, why are you doing it? You're doing it for a charity. That's what I get a lot, you're doing it for a charity. And I have to say, well, no, because I've raised money twice in the sort of last 10 months or, or something. So I wouldn't want to bother everyone again for, uh, for charity money. It's like friend tax. It's, you know, I get start getting defriended if, if a thing goes out for money again. So they say, well, why are you doing it? So I, I've kind of gone down the route of, well, you know, for a personal challenge, for, a, you know, a bit of a test. But I think from now on, I'm going to take the guise of Forrest Gump when he says, I've just felt like running. <laughs> so the next person who said, so why are you doing it then? I, I just felt like cycling. <laughs> from that day on, if I was going someplace, I was cycling. <laughs> I'll let you know how that one goes. Oh, mashed potatoes, roast chicken, Yorkshire puds, oh, and a bit of gravy. Come on, man. <laughs> mashed potato, roast chicken, veg, few Yorkshire puds, and some gravy. Mashed potato, roast chickens, veg, and gravy. There is some absolutely savage hills, some blind downhills, but just really, really tough up hills coming through Hereford and out of Monmouth towards Bristol. Wow. Just found out this Bramley apple pie and ice cream for pudding. Oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, having a quick pit stop in seven services in Bristol. Absolutely gutted as I went over the seven bridge. I got absolutely waterlogged and couldn't get any footage of going over the seven bridge, which it's something I've had in my mind for a while. It's a big milestone, it's the passage into the southwest. But my phone wouldn't have it, it stopped working. I couldn't turn it on, it said that it had no battery, even though it had like 20, 30%. So no footage of the Seven Bridge. I did, however, stop and uh, ask a guy called Roger if he'd take a picture. Because, like I say, it's quite a milestone on this trip. So he, he was wet through and he actually cycled back to the middle of the bridge with me, took a quick picture and then said he'll send it through. I'm having a quick coffee now and I've got about another hour till I get to Ali's house when there is the mashed potato, roast chicken, veg, gravy, octopus and bramley apple pie and ice cream. Oh my God. As soon as we get on the road, a one hour and 18 minutes to go. Apparently. Off we go. Yorkshire puddings, mashed potatoes, roast chicken. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, after being rescued by Ali at the end of the street, because I was pretty much a straight 11 hours I was in the saddle, and I was a finished man. He came and rescued me with a pack of Oreos, which I took down in about 30 seconds. And Great. look at this hospitality. <laughs> Woo! Hi! <laughs> 
And that is a full roast dinner, which I've been thinking about for the past pretty much 10 hours. Right, let's dig in. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>